Hundreds of central New Yorkers have now been tested for coronavirus, but still have to wait anywhere from 24 hours to four days for the results to come from an out-of-town lab. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us now live as he investigates how soon test processing will come to Upstate University Hospital. Andrew, are we any closer to seeing that? Closer probably, but we don't know exactly how much. It's been 10 days since Governor Cuomo first said he wants Upstate to be a place where test samples taken elsewhere, taken around this community, are sent for processing. But hospital administrators say they're still waiting. Whether local patients are being swabbed by their own doctor or at the Syracuse Community Health Center, that vial then needs to be shipped to Albany's Wadsworth State Lab or private ones out of state for companies like LabCorp. Sometimes a four-day wait. The faster we get new information, the faster we can inform our decision-making, so that's why it's so important to us. Faster means closer. Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh is one of the local leaders fighting for Upstate to do that processing, serving one million people in Upstate New York. But the hospital needs help. Uh, so Upstate has been very clear with us in terms of what they need. They've asked for our help in advocating on, on their behalf, and we're doing that aggressively. The hospital needs supplies, including chemicals used to turn around samples as positive or negative for coronavirus. The state already designated Upstate a priority hospital. Now leaders have to convince private medical supply companies that Upstate should be considered for some of what's left of the dwindling inventory. Then Upstate has to quickly uh, turn all that into a, a functioning processing facility, which they've said they can do pretty quickly. Once they do that, they go to the FDA for final approval and then they're testing. So I don't, I, I, I wouldn't be comfortable giving a specific time frame in which all of that can happen, but we're all motivated to make it happen as quickly as possible. Once it does happen, Upstate projects it can turn around 300 results around each and every day. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.